again with another episode of My Crazy Crossroads. And once again, I got my big buddy here, Big Joey C from Urban Ghost Urban up, Exploration. Guys? And tonight we are uh, we are taking we we had a, a little bit of a dare um, sent our way. Um, we are in a preserve um, or a park, if you will. And the story behind this park is in 2015 there was a, a lady that unfortunately uh, took her own life here in this parking lot where we are right now. Um, there was also a young homeless 25 year old boy that was a uh, boy man that was uh, they don't really know what happened to him. He was found here. Um, I think it might have been on the outskirts of this. So with that being said, the dare is a lot of people sneak into this place and they try and get through it without having any kind of uh, odd things happen. And people say that they can't get through it. It was about 100 acres um, that wraps around. There's boardwalks, um, there's trails, there's paths. We're in the woods, basically. Um, so. We are going to go ahead and we took it up uh, with the town. We actually contacted some people to see if we can get in here. Uh, we didn't want to sneak in. We wanted to do it the right way. Um, and we were lucky enough. They opened the gate for us and locked us in. We drove in and we're going to do this. We're going to call them when we're getting out. They're going to open it and let us go. Really great people. Really excited to see what we're doing. They actually watch They watch a lot of Joe's, Joe's stuff. So hopefully they'll start watching mine too and subscribe. But with that being said also, we're going to go do this. We're going to have some fun. We're going to be in the woods. I brought my snake hook just in case. Uh, there's a lot of uh, water moccasins that run along this riverbank. Um, inside the woods, you never know. You can come across some rattlesnakes. So we just want to sort of be prepared so we can kind of shoo them away and they don't hurt okay, us. Okay, guys. So we're going to do it. We're going to start uh, start walking down. There's, there's, a, there's a path behind us. There's a trail uh, in front of us. So we're just going to try and make our way. It wraps all the way back around. Um, venture into some other stuff. Um, I probably am, we're going to be shooting a lot of footage tonight. Uh, we're going to be out here for a while, so you're going to see some edits. I'm going to probably just cut out some footage that just is us walking and there's nothing going on. So uh, just bear with us and uh, let's see what happens. I'm hoping we can find a snake tonight, so I want to see Joe freak out. And uh, here we go. All right, Joe's way out that way. I'm just gonna walk back here. There's like a little lime rock beach area. I think this might be another little parking area as well. Yeah, it is. And I'm thinking, hey Joe, I think maybe we could start this way, buddy. Yeah. So once again, I'm just gonna kind of crank out the light so you guys see how dark it is outside of our light. And there you go, it's pretty dark. Although you can see Joe's light coming behind me, but. Thankfully, it's not crazy, crazy hot and humid tonight. <clears throat> I'm thankful for that. All right, here's a path here. And uh, Joe and I, uh, I just heard Joe talking on his camera. But we're going to try and keep it pretty quiet tonight. See, uh, see if you guys hear anything along with us. Hey Chris, you get that other light? Yeah, I have it. You know, in the daytime, it's supposed to be beautiful, man. Yeah, it's got to be. I'd like to come back to one today. Daytime is a little, little creepy. It is. I'm glad there's this trail here, though. Yeah. What's up, man? Oh, just checking around. Just checking around? Okay. <clears throat> All 
Now apparently there is a uh, canoe launch along the riverbanks here and people said they have the worst feelings along the river. Um, this goes back, Joe. I think we can go back this way to the river. Yeah. You want to check this out? Yeah, we'll do the river first and then do the port. Well, I don't know if it's going to wrap. Let's take a look at the map because, uh, yeah, good idea. wild boar, wild turkey. Okay. Go for tortoise, manatee. Pretty cool. Okay, so we are right here. So it looks like the boardwalk may wrap around this. So we can go where we are here, right? And go to this fishing pier first. And then, oh, and then it keeps going up and around. Yeah. So it loops back to here. Oops. And there's also a kayak canoe drop off. That's the place where people say is the freakiest point. All right, well, I don't see how we can't get around this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you want to start here? Yeah, yeah, well... You want to go up here or go back around this way? Let's go. Well, let's go back into the woods first, and we'll hit this on the way back. Yeah. How creepy it is walking, looking, looking down this pier. Yeah. I shut this light off. I'm just using this light. It looks like it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna go here now. The crazy thing about it is we had to <clears throat> sign a waiver saying. We're here at our own risk. <laughs> the, the county's not liable. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they do that just because. Yeah. Pretty smart, really. Now, guys, when you watch this video, we're going to kind of do this a little differently. Short of something jumping out and grabbing us, <laughs> we'll let you watch the video, see what you hear. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you guys heard what Joe just said. Um, we're just going to kind of try and keep it as quiet as possible. And uh, kind of leave it open a little bit. So if you guys hear anything, see anything, uh, leave a comment down below. I love when you guys send the uh, screenshots as well. Oh yeah, so we're close to the river right now. Yeah. You get that down there. Well, you know, I'm actually excited to get on the river bank. Yeah. And uh, see, maybe we can catch a gator on film too. That would be awesome. <clears throat> I'd rather see snakes and gators than anything else tonight. <laughs> yeah, guys, definitely, you know, Chris starts um, reptiles. He has snakes. So to him, this is a great thing, you know, I think he can maybe find some. He a little nervous to meet them, but... I'm going to have to come back here with my wife and kids, because this is really, really cool. I never knew it was back here. One of the nice things about Florida is they have a lot of uh, parks, preserves that are run by the state. And uh, man, they just take such good care of, you know, the natural surroundings. And you get to come and you get to see natural Florida native wild wildlife, <clears throat> excuse me, which is unbelievable. Got some great 
birds and deer. There's a spider web right here, Joe. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Um, snakes, otters, gators, manatee. This is neat to be out here at night. Very, very. It's really like it's very dreamy life. You yeah, that? yeah. It's very. Uh, it's surreal. Very surreal. <clears throat> Look, there's Tinkerbell. <laughs> awesome. Right around into Tinkerbell. Yeah. The one thing we don't want to run across is a wild boar. Well, they can't get us up here, can they? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Here's something. There's a large animal over here, brother. Really? Shh. Let's... Shh. Oh. Yeah. Shh. Yeah, there's something. I want to capture this. A little bit of rustling right here. Something's drinking. Oh, right there. Armadillo. Oh, I missed him. There he goes. I caught his tail. Oh, there he is. He's back there. He's hanging out. Armadillo's right over there, guys. But, you know, he just dipped into the brush, so... I guess that armadillo was making all that rustling back there. Yep. I can't wait to get to the lake. Man. I know. So well, we're awesome. here. It's the river. It's right here. Yeah. That, that's where it is. So this should kick back to the left. I right. hope so. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Just when I thought it was safe, that a wild boar couldn't run up on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, brother. Oh, here we go. Well, this is the uh, off the beaten path trail, but it seems like it's walking away from everything. We can hit this on the way back. Or do you want to try to make it to the water? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the water. Because it's right here. Have a little nice romantic time. <laughs> These trees are amazing, man. Yeah, we're, I can hear something in the water over here, so it's right around here. Yeah, so, alright, let's go. <clears throat> yep, yeah, right here. There's the water. Is it behind these trees? Yep.
pretty big drop off right here, Joe. Is it really? Yeah. That's what that's what they were telling us on the pier, right? That they said there was some drop offs. Yeah. Oh wow, this is cool, bro. The, the actual river is on both sides. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's that big drop off, I think. Yeah. Check out back there, cool. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Careful, man, your phone is about to fall out of that pocket. Is it? It's, it's, the pocket's ripped. Oh. Thank so you. calling for an ambulance with a wild boar attack, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just told me to make sure we call him when we're heading back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get that side, I'll get this side. Yep, there it is. Very cool. Okay, the current's running this way. So, you can see. That's all. River. Come on, I want to see it. You can spot a gator. Might be able to. There's definitely fish jumping or something. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the one looks kind of. Um, you know what, Joe? I think we should head back to that trail because it goes, the river looks like it goes back that way. Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's do it. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's go back because, I mean, we can get off this boardwalk. Alright guys, so it was nice knowing you. We're walking into the woods. I'm just kidding. But it is a little nerve wracking because you really don't know what you're gonna find back there. <clears throat> So I'm gonna, we're gonna head back up to this little um, wooded path. Yeah, I can't see where I'm going. This isn't a good idea. And uh, I'm gonna take the lead because uh, big man's not uh, one for animals. I don't want to come across a boar either, but uh, I guess I got to be the first one to get get bit or attacked. So, um, but we're gonna head off the the boardwalk here because. We could um, walk down that trail that we were on just a couple minutes ago, and uh, that runs along the river as well. So Okay, the river's right heading. here to our left. Oh, yeah. So, Joe? Yeah? There, you know, not that there's going to be, but there's very good possibility that there could be a gator. Uh, yeah. Right off the bank, yeah, well, which I doubt it. They're going to be in the water. They're the moving around saying, tonight. Look, there's two stakes. I just, want, I just want you to just keep your eyes open, okay, to the left. And the right, obviously. Well, yeah, and straight ahead. And behind us. Okay, so literally right here, you can see, I hope you can see, this is all marsh right here. And that's all water. And that's where we can come across some water yeah. moccasin. Probably just a fish, Joe. Yeah. Just fish. That's what I'm saying too. Well, these rivers are famous for mullet jumping. You know, it was funny. Didn't you have a mullet? <laughs> yeah, sure did, buddy. I was rocking that mullet. Actually, one of the first times I saw you, you had a parrot shirt. <laughs> so you get the Jimmy Buffett shirt? Yeah. I had a parrot on it. I don't know if it was Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Was it pink? Oh, I don't even remember. I just remember a big giant parrot right, uh, right on your chest. Yeah. This is actually really cool. This is awesome. 
This is really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can sneak up. All right. There's a little seating area here. Oh, there's something jumping out there. Thank God it's not humid in these mosquitoes. That would really suck. Thank God for uh, bug spray. Oh, there's a little bench. Yeah. when I had my mullet. Right, we were Actually, had a place literally right, right on the riverbank. Rocking the mullet. And I'm glad this is, there's a path cleared out here because if you're just walking through straight woods right now, Definitely, definitely makes it a little more uh, on edge. Uh, yeah. Find the mouth of the river. A bull over here. Oh. Heard it. Crap, did you hear that animal? Yeah. Sound like something Sound growling. Like a fort monster. <laughs> 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 there's a building ahead. He said there's no buildings back here. Uh yeah, let's check that out. Let's walk at least that way. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's restrooms. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I want to find like a ranger station or something. I want to find the. Uh, I want to find the mouth of the river. I think we're we're upon it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a little playground. Oh, okay. Here. The playground. Cool. <clears throat> oh, so you could you could have, we could have drove all this way. Yeah. Oh, so okay. We chose to walk. Yeah. This is not. Is that a trestle? What is that? Oh no, it's just like a little overhang thing. Yeah. Oh, what if that's on the water? Oh, the little pavilions. Let's see where we are, Joe. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's just kind of... See, in Florida they have these little, like, library stations. This is kind of cool. Like, what you could do is you could bring a bus and take Okay, a guys, we're over here at this uh, pavilion, bathroom, play area. So, I'm going to cut it down for a little bit and uh, take a quick break, sit down, regroup, and we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, so we are... Um, we're sort of halfway through this whole whole uh, park here. It's been a nice night so far, um, as far as anything um, outside of normal activity. It's, it's all we're pretty much getting, and uh, it's cool. We're having fun. Joe and I are enjoying ourselves. Um, we're gonna head back around now. Ooh, we're gonna hope we we get some more river more of the river but it seems like the trail takes us in between the river and there's probably another entrance or another parking lot to get over there 
but I'm not going to walk for four hours tonight because I can't physically do that anyway. Um, but we're just going to follow the trail that we were told to follow that everybody says they can't get around. And, uh, well, I should say they can't get around without seeing anything or hearing anything, um, you know, uh, haunting them. So we're just going to kind of do our thing. I, I don't have my big light on, so I just have my little light on. This is kind of a cool effect, I think. I'm looking at myself. I'm acting like it's a mirror. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? All right, so we're going to get our lazy butts up right, and guys, keep so going. We're, um, we're going to make our way back over here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, um, this video will probably be out on Friday. Um, I also have a couple other videos that you might have seen that, that are, or another video that's out um, highlighting my buddy Rich. Uh, again, he's starting his own page and um, just trying to support him. Um, but he owns that Da Vinci Boas, and we're going to be at, at the uh, Tampa Reptile, Tampa Repticon at the Tampa Fairgrounds on Saturday. Um, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be hanging out at his table from, I say 9, but I might get there at 10. I'm not sure, but we should be there most of the day, probably to 2 or 3. Um, the hours are from 9 to 4. And uh, Big Joey C is going to come hang out too. And we're going, to, we're going to actually shoot some footage there, and I'm going to try and get him to overcome his fear of reptiles. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. That's coming up in the next couple of days. So thank you again, and we're going to turn this around and see what we can get into. This is really cool, really calm, really nice. We're just having a beautiful night tonight. And uh, like Joe was saying on his, uh, on his camera, we're just gonna kinda leave it open to you guys. Let us know if you hear anything. Hear a lot of uh, animals, fish jumping in the water, um, rustling, all that good stuff, but nothing crazy. I just so. wish, cause you could see in the map here, how everything wraps around. So this is the loop that everybody was saying that they can't, they never make it around. So we're over, we're over we're here. There. And so we're gonna we make our go way. this way? Yeah, we're gonna make around. our way all the way back around this way. Okay, cool. So, and if we would've, if we would've done the river part, see that's where people said though, that canoe launch. So I think that, here. isn't that where we started, where the canoe launch is? Is this where we started? So I'm kind of confused. Yeah, I am too. I'm a little backwards. But, however, if we find it, we find it. If not, it's definitely harder to find things at night. Let's see what we can do. <coughs> Man. So, guys, I'm going to... Oh, there's a rabbit. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let me shut this light off. There's the rabbit, just took off. There he goes. Maybe he's leading us down to <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> There's another one over there to the left. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, I can see where you can get lost back here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Which path do we take, right? Yeah. Well, we're just going to stay with what he told us to do. Um, let's go check this out though. This yeah. is a little... It's like Robert Frost, which path to take the road less traveled. I remember how to read that in college. Mm. Actually, I think maybe even high school. This 
seems to come to an open area. Yeah. Okay, this right here, this hole, is pretty cool. That's a gopher tortoise hole. Gopher turtle. Oh, and he's right there. You can see him. I hope you can see him. I'm going to try and zoom in. He's sleeping. What's up, little dude? You see a tortoise? Yeah. Oh, look, he's bugging. Yeah. One thing about those gopher turtles, or tortoise, whatever you want to call them, um, when people break ground uh, for construction on homes, there are companies that come out to save the turtles here in Florida, which is awesome, I think, because, you know, poor guys, they don't... Here's something in here. You know, the poor turtles, they don't... Oh, it's starting to rain. Is it? <laughs> they don't, uh... Yeah, all right, let's make our way back this yeah, way. The, the last thing I want to do is get caught in a rainstorm out here. And we're gonna... Oh, boy. Okay, let's pick up the pace. <laughs> here it comes, man. Oh, oh boy. Damn. Ah. I'm going to try not to make this too shaky, guys, but we're definitely double timing it back into the path. It beat this rain back to the car. There's the turtle, uh, the turtle, the rabbit again. You good, Joe? Yeah, I'm good. Oh boy, I hope, uh, I hope we didn't make a wrong turn. What's up, bro? This way. Ah. <laughs> it's a hell of a maze. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much of the... Uh, this was picked up on camera, guys, but uh, if you overheard Joe, <clears throat> um, if you like this video, please let us know. Nothing uh, other than probably another, it was a rabbit. <laughs> um, but... We just want to kind of try and do some different things, get out and see some different areas. Um, so hopefully, where? Yeah, I'm not going through there. No. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> if you like what we're doing, please let us know down below. Um, and Joe had mentioned also uh, that we're going to be heading to New York in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and Joe's going to set something up for a fan meetup. Look at that baby bunny. Um, so we're going to be out on uh, in Long Island. Um, it's I'm still up in the air whether or not I'm going to be able to make it, but You're going. You're going to go. Joe says I'm going to go. So um, you will be up in the air because you're being a plane. Yeah. <laughs>
look forward to that. There's a couple of places out there that um, we're going to be shooting some cool videos at. And I'm excited about that because uh, that's where I'm from. And uh, even though we'll be there for a couple days, I'm sure we'll get to see some family. Even if it's for a little bit. Wow. So I think we might have zigged when we were supposed to zag, Joe. I feel like we went the wrong way, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very, very humid out. Oh, yeah, we definitely went the wrong way. There's a bunch of cars over there. Joe, we went the wrong way, buddy. You hear me, Joe? We went the wrong way. What? We went the wrong way. Oh, we went the wrong way. Yeah. Because there's, there's a highway right there. Ugh, that stinks. Well, thank goodness the rain stopped. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying this actually. I hope uh I hope everybody watching it enjoys it, but there's just not much going on. Oh, those trees look so creepy right here. <sighs> Dude, we are, we are lost. I don't know where we took the wrong turn, but. Well, it might be bringing us back. We might be okay. This is heading back to the right now. I think we're okay. I mean, if we get lost, we just give them a call. Again, guys, sorry about the pace I'm walking at. 
Just kind of, okay, do not enter. That's not where we need to go. <clears throat> really? Yeah. That might be his house. Yeah. Because he's on the property. Well, guess what, guys? My battery is going to die. I'm going to sign out. Guys, my battery is going to die, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been shooting way too long, so I'm going to cut it down so it's not too long and boring, but you can catch the rest on Joe's. Um, if you like this, please let us know down below if you want to see more videos like this. Um, we'd be more than happy to come out and shoot more like this. Uh, also, all my merchandise, um, all the links to my social media, everything is listed down below. Um, P.O. Box, all that good stuff. Thanks again to Joe from Urban Ghost Urban Explorations for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you guys for coming along with the